Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here's um, information about uh, online examiners and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer at these smart URLs. These are addresses on the of the websites. So you just type that into your uh, browser and you will go there and you don't need to type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash just type smarturl.it forward slash btdt dash online and you'll get the information about online seminars. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can uh, go to that uh, the website of the program by going to smarturl.it forward slash actuary. And uh, if you'd like to refer a tax deductible to the extent allowed by law donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for example, P on probability. A device runs until either of two components fails at which point the device stops running. The joint density function of the lifetimes of the two components, both measured in hours, is f sub x y e of x y equal to x plus y over 8 for x between 0 and 2 and y between 0 and 2. What is the probability that the device fails during its first hour of operation? So here's a diagram graph picture. It illustrates the situation. If you looked at um, two by two squared, that's where the joint density is positive, and the marked area, um, shaded region with these dotted lines, uh, that's where um, either x uh, is less than one or y is less than one, and that's the area where we get the outcome that we want, which is that the system fails within an hour. So we need to take the integral of that region, the shaded region, of the joint density and we would have the answer. Well, it's actually much more efficient to uh, take 1 minus the area over that not shaded white um, area uh, of the joint density. So 1 minus the integral from 1 to 2 of the integral from 1, of one, from one to 2 of x plus y over 8 dx dy. That's it. Um, we do the integral with respect to x first. We get uh, x squared plus 2xy over 16 evaluated from x equal to 1 to x equal to 2. And then, of course, we take the integral from 1 to 2 of that uh, with respect to y and 1 minus that is the probability we want. That becomes 1 minus 1 over 16 of the, um, times the integral of uh, 4 plus 4y minus 1 minus 2y dy. So 1 minus 1 over 16 times the integral from 1 to 2 of uh, 3 plus 2y dy, and that's 1 minus 1 over 16 times 3y plus y squared evaluated from y equal to 1 to y equal to 2. That becomes 1 over uh, 1 minus 6, 16, so it's 10 over 16 of 5 over 8, which is uh, 0.625. Answer D. And please remember, this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies, and good luck on the test.